Hello everyone and welcome back to Big Bear Review. Uh, I am James. I'm Mario. Did you forget your name? I totally did. Oh my god. And I'm Romeo, just in case you guys have forgotten. I was just, <laughs> we I hope was, they haven't forgotten about you either. And I was distracted by the horrible thing we're about to talk about. Uh, the movie, <laughs> the second review. Just go straight for the jugular, aren't we? Yes, the second review of, uh, the second movie that Romeo wants, want, asked us to watch is called Under the Skin. Romeo. Yes. Please do tell us uh, a little bit about this movie called Under the Skin. Okay. Under the Skin is an art house horror film made in 2014. Uh, it stars Scarlett Johansson. And it is basically about uh, a an alien or a construct of an alien. Basically seduces uh, lonely uh, men and bad things happen to them. <laughs> And, and that's basically the, the plot. But there's more to it than that. But it's only, only if you care to look. <laughs> but uh, I recommended this because it really has like a very unnerving, very, uh, very like creepy uh, tone to it. And it's possibly a very underrated, underrated movie because I think that a lot, uh, this movie is very polarizing. A lot of people hate it, a lot of people love it. I just so happy to be one of those people that really love it, and I just thought that I would share it with these guys because uh, they've never seen it. What, what do you guys think of it? I uh, want you to go first. <laughs> okay, I guess. I mean, I didn't like the movie. I understand that it's kind of trying to pioneer into a new era or like a new variation of horror movies where you have the fear of the unknown, but I don't like the way that it was executed. Okay. It just kind of felt like it was just there and black and there was no explanation in regards to what is this thing's motivations, how do we stop it, or just why is this thing even here? Oh, it's my turn. Guess it's your turn. It's this movie was awful. <laughs> like this movie didn't make sense, and it could have been it could have been the devil, and it would have made just as much sense if I explained it. <laughs> a demon mm -hmm. kidnaps men and steals their skin mm -hmm. and their souls. And and it, it, you could it didn't matter if you said alien or not. It, mm -hmm. There was nothing to say there was an alien. I mean, Scarlett Johansson is a redeeming quality, but just for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so she, she is a very good-looking woman. So. She is. <laughs> she so. is a very, she is very pretty. I will go over that. She has beautiful tits. Oh, no, wait, can I just, away. I just want to feel it. Ooh. Oh, that's totally <laughs> working. I mean, and. Congratulations, Scarlett Johansson, for your tits. And <laughs> it does, it, it breaks the trope that Romeo only shows you pussy in both years. This is true. I get to see several dicks. So, I was, yes. I was very happy about this. So the dicks are the best part of this movie. <laughs> oh, really? Um, okay. But honestly, at least the dicks made sense in the movie. Everything else didn't make sense. I was very, very long. <laughs> and I really tried to focus on what the plot was. And every time they added something new that I thought, oh, this will be like explaining something. It got worse. <laughs> yeah, the first time I saw it, it was kind of visceral. It was like kind of a little too much to take in and and, and a lot going on but I, I, after multiple viewings I did manage to get get like a sense of what was going on the first part of the movie is the creation and I feel like that part is the alien uh, or whatever creating her human character and she's and all this blubbering that you're you're hearing in the background that's her trying to uh, speak the dialect, which is English. She gets into uh, the van and her role is just to get like these lonely men and has to be lonely, like they have to have no family. It's like something that they can just take, nobody will miss them. And they just harvest them. For the purpose of that, it's never really explained, but it, the movie doesn't tell you because I just feel like it's a lot more scarier when you're just wondering why the fuck would they <clears throat> What they take these people and then they're just gone. I mean, personally, I think if you mm -hmm. know what the purpose is, it does make it scarier because it's just kind of like, meh, at this point. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, oh, it's cosmic horror, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't have an end goal, and I think that's why we don't like it, per se. Mm -hmm. 
Bro. The men died so they didn't have to suffer through the rest of the movie. I'm just, they're so lucky. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not sure if you remember the beginning of the movie where there's this motorcycle guy. Her. Like, is he supposed to be her protector or? Uh, she's basically what? like the he's basically like the cleanup crew, slash a moderator. <laughs> I feel like it's a movie that doesn't really explain a lot of things, but most of the things that it doesn't explain is for the reason of like uh, it kind of makes things a little bit scarier in a way, or kind of like kind of dreadful. Even though you guys, I feel like you guys didn't really enjoy it. Uh, there were a lot of things in it to appreciate like the visuals were actually great especially when the you know the scenes like even the weird scenes where like they like she seduces the men and they go and and they sink into this like black liquid and you see the aftermath and just seeing that it, like like what happens to them afterwards when you see them later it's just very creepy very eerie and i and, and it's mostly and it's, and it's also mostly due to the soundtrack. I thought the soundtrack was great for this. This movie was supposed to be a critique on the way that we, like the standard of beauty that we have. And it's like saying that beauty is only skin deep and that's why these men who are chasing this attractive woman are being killed. Yes. And that's what I thought it was an allegory for, but I'm not entirely sure. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. You know what, maybe in like 50 years, this will become sort of cult thing. This movie made, no, oh, hey, this movie cost 13 million to make. Mm -hmm. It made 7 million. So it didn't even cover the cost of its actual production. It and Scarlett Johansson's in it. That alone should have made the 10, at least. But the fact that it couldn't even break 10 mm -hmm. is very sad. Mm -hmm. This movie's garbage. Don't watch this movie. Don't watch this. If you like normal horror movies, this is not a normal horror movie. This isn't even scary. It wasn't. I was not even scared by this. I was bored. I was physically bored, and I want my time back. <laughs> who would you recommend this movie to? <laughs> I would recommend it to people who uh, like minimalist storytelling. I also people who like uh, abstract horror in a way, because there are a lot of things to appreciate. I feel like it wasn't really going for a narrative story. It was just mostly going for like some undertones and themes and the you know, abstract of filmmaking. Like, I feel like people who appreciate that should watch it. People, I don't think people who are like general audiences who are hoping for uh, general some sort of narrative. Yeah. Should not watch this. <laughs> yeah. Probably, probably, it, it won't Ratings. be up their alley. Ratings? Um, I give it an eight. Zero. Oh my god. Negative, negative stars. You if I could give it negative ten stars, so I would do one. so. So a one. So, so a one. A one. And I'm giving it a three. Generally, I guess we don't recommend it, but if you guys want to dabble on something that's, you know, different. Obscure, you mean? Obscure. I would highly recommend it and, and, and I hope that you give it a check. You don't want to wake up, do you? So anyways, thank you for watching. <laughs> Big for you. I'm Jane. I'm Mario. And I'm Romeo. <laughs> Please. Make sure to follow us on all our platforms. We're on YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok. So, bye everyone. Bye. Bye. All around me are familiar faces. Worn out 